Okay, so I saw this other tutorial on YouTube about how this girl took a little Wild West gun and turned it into Harley Quinn's gun. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description, but I figured that would probably be the best way I could go ahead and make her gun. So I picked this up at the Dollar General for about 4 bucks, and so now I'm going to transform it into Harley Quinn's little pistol. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some super glue and go ahead and glue this part shut because I know that the little hinges have a tendency to break, so I don't want this to come off. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this shut really quickly. Okay, now also, my handle has these little grooves in it, and Harley's gun is completely smooth, and then it has the little, like, emblem on it. So, now you could go ahead and fill this in with hot glue if you wanted to, but I feel like I wouldn't have as much control in order to get it in just the little grooves with hot glue. So I'm going to go in with some fabric paint and just fill in all of these on this side as well as the other. Okay, so I've went ahead and filled in the grooves. And if you find yourself putting a little too much, then you can just scrape it off with just a piece of cardboard. Just go over it lightly and it will even out. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and then I will show you guys what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I went ahead and painted the handle white, and then I just took two layers of foam board and kept them out to the shape that I needed to make her gun look the right length and everything. I don't know if you can see the details there. I just cut out the little pieces, and I just hot glued it onto the gun. Now, for the gun, you're going to need a lot of reference pictures just to make sure you have the shape right. And I went ahead and glued the parts on top, too. This is only one piece of foam board, but I needed this to be wider, so I glued two pieces together. So next up, I'm going to be painting the rest of this black, except for I'm going to be putting a bit of orange on it as well simply for safety reasons, um, since I will be taking this with me to like parties and stuff like that where I have to dress up. So you always want to leave a bit of orange on a gun, even you know a toy gun, if you're going out, just so it doesn't look like you're actually holding a real gun, um, unless you want to get in trouble, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and paint this part black and a little bit of orange. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like after that. Oh, also, I went ahead and covered the foam with a layer of tacky glue, just so it would be a little bit slicker, and it would pretty much take the porousness out of the foam and help seal it a little better. So, yeah. Okay, so here is the finished gun. So, what all I did was I took and made little diamond indents into the foam on both sides. And then I painted all of this black, except I left a little bit of this orange. And then I went ahead and filled in the diamonds with gold. And I wrote hate, love, love. And then I added little, like smiley faces kind of to it. Pretty much like have a lot of reference pictures whenever you're painting this. Um, I did the tally marks on the bottom. I did the HQ for Harley Quinn. The circles because hers is actually like missing pieces but and then I just took a little bit of gold paint and actually like put it in the design and then wipe the rest off so it was just in the little grooves there and then on this side where this one says hate this one says love and then hate hate the little tally marks again the HQ and then for this part I actually built it up with fabric paint so it's 3D on both sides 
And then I just painted it black and painted the little jester gold. And yeah, and then I just put like three layers of um, sealer on this. And this is the finished product. So there it is. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!